Yo, what's up? Today is drawing. I think I'm gonna draw a skull. You know, it's October, kind of in that season of Halloween and stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use some charcoal, really get some darks in there, some nice contrast, get a little messy with it. Have some fun, man. I need to start having more fun with art. That's my goal. Let's do it. All right, so check it out. I found some images of skulls online and the one that I liked was a group of skulls. So I ended up isolating one of the skulls and just manipulating it, changing the lighting, the background, everything to an image that I thought was pretty cool and uh, gave it a lot of contrast. So now it's gonna be cool to draw. Well, hello there. It's been quite a messy process so far. I've been experimenting a lot. This process so far has been very crazy. I've been using, trying a toothbrush. I've tried these chamois things. Um, I even tried this pan pastel thing. Like I'm trying everything. Bristle brush as well. You know, I have all these different kinds of charcoal I'm trying. The only thing that seems to work to get a really dark background quickly is compressed charcoal and then me lightly rubbing my finger. You know, I don't want to put like a lot of pressure. You have no need to. So I've been doing that and that's the only thing I can get to get a really dark background. And I know they say you shouldn't use your fingers because of the oils on your hands. Oils, oils on your hands. hands. But I don't see any other way to get a super dark, nice background. I mean, maybe if I had like some charcoal powder or something, but that's basically what this compressed charcoal is when you, use it a lot, it turns into this powder and then you can just kind of spread it into the paper, but I don't know. It's something I'm experimenting with. At this point, it's very messy and I'm trying to figure it out, but it's, it's coming together. It's a little bit rough right now. You know, I got the main values in and now I'm just doing very subtle things and little textures and shifts and stuff. And I need, I need to tighten some things up and get some lines a little bit sharper. And I think it'll be looking really nice, really nice. Oh boy, so I learned a lot from this process. Not the greatest drawing I've ever done in my life, but I haven't done many charcoal drawings and I definitely haven't done many that have such high contrast with like a very black background. That was probably the most challenging part about this whole drawing was just trying to fill that in and get it to not go everywhere. And of course, now that it's over, I realized I probably should have drawn it on this easel so all the powder would have fallen straight down. Now my whole table and floor is like covered in black powder. It's probably a mess. You know, the process was, it was pretty straightforward just uh, going in with, with subtle value changes. I tried to do like a kind of a little bit of glow on the light area around the forehead. It kind of worked, not 100% like with it. You know, I, I still don't know how to get this charcoal to stay on the paper and be very dark. That's as dark as I can get it and get it to stay on there. I guess you're not supposed to touch it once you put it on, but I don't like having the paper texture. So yeah, I, I have a lot more experimenting to do, but this was pretty fun. This was pretty fun to do, you know, just sit down for a few hours and, and bang out a, a drawing, learned a lot. And that that's really what this whole process is about. It's like learning. I, I think the challenging thing is just getting those subtle, subtle value shifts. You know, I tried to keep this like a loose drawing. I didn't want it to be super tight, have some loose, so really soft edges. And that's something I'm still playing around with, you know, like how soft can I make things? And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this whole process. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.